Okay, we are back at the building site today. The mobile home has been moved. It was sitting in front of this, where the house is going to go. But they got permission to move it into place. So that she came out with the backhoe. Well, the backhoe's been here. He came out and he and my son-in-law and Jack moved it into place. We've come to take some measurements of cabinets. Look at where it started going into the ditch. Oh, I gotta walk this way. Hold on. Oh, I'm tripping over a branch. So it was lined up to the right we, here. We have a stump. Was that for counterweight? It's counterweight to keep the back tires down. So with the okay. Trailer. So I still have track. Okay. And then he guided me into here and it was getting deeper and deeper because it had just rained and it was just a mess. <laughs> I had to back it all the way back up the road to get it out of that trench. Yeah. So I could get it over far enough here so where could, it was solid. Because you, so you had to turn it because it was lined up here. Now that. Anybody want to buy a backhoe? Yeah, got a backhoe for sale. 580B. It's been well kept up. Mobile homes. Yeah, and it moves mobile homes. Ah. Okay, so some more work has been accomplished in here. We got some paneling to replace these stone looking things. Oh, okay. Put those in there. It looks like she painted the back of this too. That's so. All it is, is paneling. Yeah, that's so why I said we need to talk to her quickly so if they're going to... a bunch of panels. Oh, nice. I don't know where he got that. <laughs> he knows people. <laughs> that might have come out of JC. Okay, so it. their refrigerator will fit in that spot. Yes, I measured it. Okay, so there are two countertops here. Man, you could move the stove to a different spot. It wouldn't have to stay there. And then make it more like a L shaped yeah, or just, yeah, more like an L-shape. You could either put it, I don't like putting it next to the refrigerator, but if you put a small cabinet in between. That's what that is, a small cabinet. Yeah, and put the stove there and then have an, oh, yeah, that would be so much better because that's such a hassle where it is, you know, if we're looking at, and we haven't talked to them about it. But, yeah, I've moved the sink out this way, too. I mean, you got room here. Okay. You could put doors on the back side and use that space in the corner there. Yeah, because right. Well, if you move the stove over, no, you could you don't put want a, a corner cabinet. Okay. They're terrible. Well, we have a corner cabinet. I don't think yeah, it's terrible. terrible. <laughs> I don't think it's terrible. <laughs> well, we don't have access from the back side like she would. They would. Okay, so here's the thing. We came and looked at it the other day, and I looked at these cabinets, and I'm like, that poor girl. I know I could make do with it, and I'm sure she would too. But none of them match. Look, the countertops don't even match. <sighs> and I said, what would it cost just to put in cheap cabinets in here? I mean, it's only temporary for them because they're building a new house. But, it, you know, they're going to be here probably a year, if not longer. And she was just going to paint them all up. And First, she was talking about new hardware, but they don't want to spend extra money on this because they're going to build the new house and want to put the money into that. And look at this cabinet over here. Oh. Yeah, oh. edges are going bad on that. Yeah, and the layout is just awful. So, you could put... Is it a propane? Wow, it's a nice you oven. You could orifice for it. What's that mean? To do propane. It's is it gas, gas now? Right now? Oh. We should have looked. They so sell. Thirty inches, and this is. Yeah, you could do. Thirty inches there, so you could move the stove here. You could have just a short piece of countertop there. Yeah. Those are newer. They are newer. 
it's not the same. No, and <coughs> this must be the old stuff too. Yes, they and didn't get wet. yeah, and she could paint it all. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, there's a hole. That's there. an odd you place for a vent. A, Something over it. Over. Yeah, because I just stepped okay. in it. Oh, now I got to check out this room because I didn't quite she see did it all. Oh, there's the closet. She did paint the first layer. Oh, she did there's since we sink. were here last and I didn't see the sink. Okay. Oh, yeah. See, that's not too bad. Oh, that medicine cabinet's really old, but, you know, clean it up. It'll work. Yeah. And that's the cat door. So this was the cat room. Oh, yeah, we have a cat room like that. <laughs> we're not, not putting a, a door, door. <laughs> hole in the door. Okay, so back to this. So how fast can you build cabinets? Uh, pretty quick. Just, or just, just buy stock cabinets. We have to call them then and... Is this a Q-stick here? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> so we called our daughter and I talked to her. And I think right now we're just going to do stock cabinets on the bottom. and Or, or make them stock. <laughs> <laughs> either way and get so that they're they're all similar and she can paint them which was her plan anyway so they they won't be expensive they'll just be you know the stock cabinets they have there but they'll match we can move the stove over yeah so <sighs> now I got her all excited we're gonna have to follow through <laughs> so Dutch is the septic guy he is a licensed septic installer in the state of Michigan no. Huh? They go, by they go by county. So he is a licensed septic installer for our county. And this was the approved site for the septic field. Where will the tank go? Up by the, up by the, up by the where the house is going to go in. So they're going to have to bring in a lot of fill here. And then lay out all the stuff. That's a little bonus for our daughter and son-in-law that... They've got somebody who <laughs> is knowledgeable and licensed to do that kind of thing. And now we're going to head back to the store. Now that we have exact measurements and find out whether or not he should build cabinets or just buy the stock cabinets. We found ourselves back at Lenard's. We were here earlier today. And it's what I noticed, night. we're not on a date. Oh, aren't we? No. What I noticed as we were coming in, that there were lots of old couples coming in. I said, all the old people, the old couples, go to Menards on a Friday night. And Tash said it's date night. Oh, I guess. What are you doing over there? I'm recording. We're, we're old now. We look younger than all those other couples, don't we? Well, if you shaved your gray beard, we, we would. Okay, they've got all these beautiful hanging lamps. Do you know what I see when I look at those? I see all the dust that will collect on them and all the time it will take to dust them off. I want something that doesn't collect dust. Do you know what I see when I see those lamps? Dust, dust collectors, that's right. I want something that doesn't like dust. We're just going to put an air filter around your head. No.